Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I'm going to continue qualifying using projected name type things and rocks so that we have collisions. And I've got about 30 minutes to do in this episode and then I need to finish up on dinner stuff. Okay, so I think we decided that projected name was good, right? For the pointer arg type builder. Yes, okay. Let's say done. Okay. Let's go to close these out and then also look for that in pointer archetype builder. So there should be one for rough lake builder as well as I just saw. We'll put that in the list so we can tackle that one. I bet this one is going to be tackled because we did that one, but you never know. Okay. So we say only one spot pointer archetype builder. Huh. Really? Argument evaluation. Do, do I not find in here? Yep, that's the only spots ever used. And since that's going to come along for the right for those, we don't care about that. So I'm going to keep it in the list for the other one, but it's good to know that we did the right thing. So actually, wait a minute. If literally nothing else calls that, let's make this private. Because that, we don't want it to, you know, scoping is good. I remember years ago, somebody who was big in the Ruby or some other language, I was like all dynamically typed and stuff and said, you don't need scoping. You don't need any of these things. You can just, you should be able to access anything you want anywhere. And I always was like, no, <laughs> because when you do this, then you can look at this and go, yeah, somebody who knows reflection could figure out how to call this. But it's good for refactoring purposes in the sense that I know that this could only be called from within this type, this class or whatever it is. And I don't have to worry about it being potentially called anywhere else. So you should always limit as much as you can to start with and work out. If you did what I did, it can be harder to limit it unless you know, and depending upon how you're inadvertently using something. So the more you know, and you may disagree with me and that's fine. Okay. So this is rough like constructor. How do you get a rough projected constructor? Oh, because it's the constructor to that. Okay. So what well, can you, whoa, no, don't do that. Is that called and some other things? Yes. Okay. Is this called anywhere else? Nope. I'm going to make that private. Okay. And I bet, yep. Private. Okay. So that makes this done. So let's go back to here and let's say who all called that. That would be this. If it's a pointer, we do that. Otherwise, <laughs> we do this. Sure. Why not? You know, that's what I always say. What about this one? Is rough like type. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. Oh, this one. And this one we already did because I guess we were smart ish. And this is in the ref like, yes, so we're going to say save. Good, that's all done. Did we break anything? And we're just building this project, we're not building everything. So, more updates for referencing projected types. Okay, done, done, done. <laughs> that sounded, dun, dun, dun. It's not a lot more intimidating than I thought it would be. Okay. Is this used anywhere? Oh God, yes, it is. So we probably want to put that on our list. What about this one? This is the handler one. Yep. Yep. And then the add extensions one. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we got those three. Let's just, I want to jump ahead here. Um, if I say get projected delegate name, who's all calling that? Because we already checked and we can see here that, um, oh. Oh, that that's horrible. Projections for, oops, that ain't good. This is in the delegate builder, so I don't think we would actually need to, yeah, we don't need to do that here. Otherwise, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Good thing I caught that. But I think that makes this done as well, okay? So we can pull that up and turn. I don't know why I've got so much space in between all these, but you know, I do, and that's the way it is because I thought I need some notes. Okay. Types of Dharma. Who's all calling this? Really? Holy cripples. Wow. I don't like that projected handler information. You got a couple. Um, this is projected type. This isn't the thing that actually projects the types out. This is using it in, yeah, so we got that one done too. Nope, nope. And then what about the add extensions thing? This we probably need to be adding. Okay, so let's grab our handy string. Otherwise we do that. And put that in there and then that takes care of that one. What about this one? couple more. Come on, Jason, power through, power through. <laughs> Feel the burn. There we go. So we say add, otherwise we do this. And now we're going to say that and that with this and one more. Otherwise we do that. Okay. This is in the adornments builder itself, which we don't do anything with. Yeah, projected types of adornment. This we do, but we already did. So that's done. Yes, save all that. Okay. Let's do one more pass on the builders here. Um, I don't need that. Let's unpin this. I don't think we need that as much anymore. This actually doesn't do anything. Is this used anywhere? Yes, but we've already qualified the crap out of it. <laughs> so. Okay. This one we just went through. Yeah, this one we just, this is where we actually build the things. And we made that private, just like. Okay. Well. I would be shocked if I shut down and started up again, if I built again, that this would actually work. Let's put in a contingency plan. If I rebuild everything and it's successful, that's a really good start. Doesn't mean all the tests are gonna pass because we might have some tests that are generating code that won't align correctly anymore, which is fine. But if we build everything correctly, that's fine. If 
we don't, then we need to do something like, let's just, because we know we can at least build the, probably the tests, not the integration tests. If we can't build the integration tests, then we need to look at tests, run it for something like the typewriter or the text typewriter, <laughs> the text writer, or string writer, whatever. Look at that and see what may be missing or not matched up. Okay. We need to eventually get to where code generation can build for everything and we don't see that error. Not all the errors may go away, but not that error. So give me a second. I'm going to shut down, start up again, and we will see what the first step is, which is to see if everything builds. Okay. Okay, the build failed. <laughs> but what's interesting is that only two failed. So this is kind of, it's not a lot, which is good. So come on, open this one up. Let's see. Okay, I think. What's the error here? This is on line 324. Is that what this is? Yes. So method expectations of IF pointer add for del. It doesn't need this here because this is literally a method on this method expectations. That's what I'm assuming method expectations of I have pointers. So when I get to get this big, it's kind of hard to see. And I don't know if this would actually, oh, it does. Okay. So what did it actually do here? It put in projections for I have pointers, which is good. You put all this in here. That's awesome. Cool. So at least it did that right. Okay. But I might have gotten a little bit of over aggressive here. So this is saying I returned this delegate pointer return. This method expectations of I have pointers. There's got to be the test here somewhere. No. Nope. There's got to be like a delegate pointer return. There is. Okay. And so what we're saying here then is, and this is line 324, we're saying a new of these for that and that self dot add for yeah you know, like self dot add is a method expectations if I have pointers and would just say self dot I wouldn't say self dot add there oh, oh 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 that is because there is a yes we added a an extension onto that so we could call that. But when we're actually saying self dot here, we don't need this here. So we got a little bit too aggressive. Okay, which is fine. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> that one's hopefully a little bit easy to fix. Um, this would be the method expectations when we're actually calling the properties. Method expectations method builder. The this parameter, yeah, because if, okay, I bet the this parameter is this, and then the instance parameters, we eventually, we put in there, but then the add method here, yeah, we got a little bit too aggressive because we don't need to say, <laughs> projections for here okay and then this doesn't need to be an extension method or a interpolated string at all what aren't you like yeah there you go okay so that was the methods builder does indexer builder have something very similar yeah the add method does not need that I was kind of expecting some something like this, you know, where we get we got a little bit too aggressive with things, and that's okay, that's fine. Yeah, you know, we, we we live and we learn. So we do the add method. Wait, are we taking off? Yes, we are. Okay. that okay come on catch up same thing down here somewhere we're doing a or not 
self dot at we don't even <laughs> that doesn't seem right Oh, explicit property. Yep, add method goes away. I just need to call the add. What about this? I thought I just took that off. Did I not? Oh, I never even... I guess on an indexer you don't care about... I don't buy this. I think this doesn't seem right. Okay. Indexer expectations. Same thing here. I I don't know. There's something about that just smells a little weird to me. Extensions builder should just be like building the extension stuff. Yep. And we did the method extensions. Which the add method we took off here. Okay, so I think we've cleared that up. Do a quick close U, do a build. Okay, and now let's just build this and then we'll shut down startup again, see if we can at least build everything. Cool, shut down startup again. Okay, I got distracted because it's saying my threat service wasn't started. I was like, okay, so I'm trying to start it. It's a little disconcerting when Windows tells you do something now. Um, okay, so let's do a build clean of everything. And now let's see if all this builds. Failed. Still failed. Well, let's see here. Um, did I get rid of... Okay, so it's still it's doing this now, which is good. Because now if I say... F12. Oh, you don't know how to navigate to that. There should be... Like... Above here... Yeah, add for... This. Yeah, unfortunately, this is really hard to read. Because um, it's just... There's, there's so much noise here. What are the errors again? Method expectations does not contain a definition for that, and it does not contain a definition for that. I bet I know why. Because these are in this namespace. And there's this wrapper. This is the, yeah, um, method expectations. Hold on. <laughs> this may take some very delicate... Um, viewing because it that sounds bad that sounds worse than what i meant it to sound like i just mean like this extension here i believe expectations wrapper yeah that's just this and i believe a method expectations descends from exceptions wrapper. So it should be able to see it, okay? But the problem is, I think what's happening is this extensions, you would think this would be able to see it, but it can't. Yeah, I think I see a problem. Um, The problem is, it knows what that is. Because that's just a type. This extensions thing is intended to be adding on extension methods for like a method expectations, because this is an expectation wrapper. Method expectations is of this type. And it's always been able to see this before. Now it can't. Crud. Tune in next time. I, I think I'm really close with this, but I can't 
figure this out off the top of my head and dinner's calling some other things. So I don't know if I'll get to this today or tomorrow, but um, the problem is again, is that I think this one thing, when you get down to here, the static, this extension method, what needs to be right here, it can't find this. It doesn't know what this is, okay? This, I bet it's not gonna, yeah, I can't. That's what I don't like about this. It sometimes can and cannot navigate to things. But in this case, like method expectations, there's definitely an add on it and we should be able to call it. This is calling add for a delegate pointer event, which is a whole special thing. I, I, I yeah, and it just, it can't at this level see that if that makes any sense. So I got to figure out a way to make that happen for next time. <laughs> so next time we'll see that there's got to be a way to do this. I may have to pull out that, that wrapper and say it's not in that special namespace, though that could get to be hairy too. It never ends, does it? But if there's one thing that's been teaching me with all these things that I've been trying to fix is when you get to a point like this, it is actually good just to walk away. So I'm gonna take a look at this later, see what I can come up with. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.